So today was the day that Scout was coming home. We were very busy in the morning setting up the house for her arrival. You can see Magnus did all he could to help out by sleeping on her duvet. But we'd set up a crate in our living room so Scout would have a nice safe place to retreat to should she need to. We also had other beds throughout the house as well. We also had some water bowls set up and some towels and some toys and things like that there. Magnus was a little perplexed as to why he couldn't stay in the crate because he likes the crate but he got over that relatively quickly. But before we knew it, the doorbell was ringing and Scout had arrived. Mangs was very happy to see the people from the Greyhound Kennels, you can see here. When Scout first arrived, we showed her around with a lead on just so she could take in the smells, take in the house and be safe. And that way we would keep her under control as she explored. But after a minute or two, we took off the lead and she was able to wander around by herself, even checking out Magnus's bed. When this was happening, we gave Magnus lots of rubs and lots of attention. That way he didn't feel left out and that someone was getting special treatment and he was basically being ignored. So let's go wandering by herself. When Magnus first arrived home, he was very stressed and would pant a lot. Scout seemed more comfortable wandering around and was very happy without showing any signs of stress, taking in the crate, even playing with some of Magnus's toys. Now Scout is a five-year-old girl. She's from Ireland, so she's got the tattoos on both her ears. One interesting fact about Scout is that her grandfather is Westmead Hawk. Now Magnus's father is Westmead Hawk, so they're actually related. So that was quite a surprise to find out. That wasn't something we planned or looked into. We only found out after we had agreed to take Scout home that that was the case. So after the people from the Greyhound Kennel had left, we gave them about 45 minutes together to wander around, to interact, and to feel comfortable together. Scout even went into the crate with Magnus there, and neither of them seemed bothered or too upset by it. So that was a really good sign. So once Scout was a bit more rested, even sort of lying down, we decided we'd take Scout for a little walk just to get comfortable going out with Magnus in an urban environment away from the kennel. So a little treat first, then it was time for a walk. After the walk, everyone was quite tired. Magnus went to his bed and Scout laid on the floor next to him, quite comfortable, feeling very relaxed and very at home. So that was quite nice. So my wife was able to give them a cuddle while they laid on the floor. While they were doing that, I went out to the store and picked up a collar and a tag for Scout. It was this little purple one with reflective spots and we've got a tag with the name and address and contact details on there. So we gave that to Scout so she could be part of the gang. Good so here you go, Scout. Look at this. You're all official. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Magnus was even there to witness the occasion as well. Soon enough, it was Magnus's dinner time. Scout had already eaten that day before she'd arrived, so it was time for Magnus to get his dinner. So we had to basically set Magnus up in the kitchen with his food so Scout couldn't get access to it and wouldn't feel jealous by him eating in front of her and before her. Unfortunately, she was a little bit upset not getting to invite to the party that seemed to be happening inside the kitchen. <laughs> 
Once Magnus had finished his dinner, we gave Scout a little bit of food in the bowl just to make her feel that she wasn't missing out, and she seemed happy with that. Yes. So once everyone had their dinner, it was a little sit down to let all the food settle on our tummies, and then it was time to go out for our last walk. So we got Scout and Magnus all dressed up in their winter coats, and then it was out and about, out for the last walk. So Scout did really well today. Very calm, very relaxed, not too stressed, not too much panting, and seemed to get on well with Magnus, and seemed to do well walking on lead, not pulling too much. So that was great to see. So very positive day for Scout. Very good interactions, and Scout seemed to go to bed with no trouble whatsoever. So good night, Scout.